Went on Kill Tony this Monday. He uh, he killed it, and uh, it was in front of Joe Rogan. And uh, I invited him on the show tonight. This is not his first time on the Secret Show, but I believe this is his first time being sober. So guys, <laughs> give it up for your first comic tonight, the very funny Tim Warner. What the fuck is up, people? How are we? Now, I haven't seen a lot of you since the new year, so happy new year to you. <laughs> fuck it, eh? I tell you, I'm a person. I love the holidays. I love how people act during the holidays. I just hate the fact they're not every day. You know what I mean? Life is short. Live it to the fullest. I wish this would happen in my life where it's five, four, three, two, one, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Because you're going to die someday, so you might as well fucking enjoy Tuesday, am I right? Oh, yeah. Red Band said it. Give it up for Brian. Red Band. Thank you. Has made this possible, along with COVID. Give it up for COVID. Let's show gratitude. None of us would be here if it didn't happen, so yay. As he said, uh, yeah, I'm sober. How do you say that? Newly sober, recently sober, hoping to be forever sober. Got my clean day tattooed on my fucking hand. I have to come back, you know? <laughs> right? Okay, so he knew me. So he knew me as a big asshole, if you're proud. That's great. That's great. Let me put my chip down. Hi, my name's Tim. I'm a comedy holic. Hi, Tim. Oh, I wasn't any good at it. I was not good at getting fucked up. You know, a lot of people, when they go out and get fucked up, they do Irish goodbyes. You familiar with this? It's like you're hanging out with your buddy Tommy, he just fucking leaves. It's like, hey, where'd Tommy go? He just left. Oh, what a dick. I didn't do that when I got fucked up. When I got fucked up, I would do a Polish goodbye. And that's where you tell everybody around you to fuck off and then you stay. <laughs> fucking Drake saw Tommy because he left his card at the bar without saying goodbye. So fuck him. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, I'm in the program now. Yeah. When I say I'm in the program, that's the computer simulation we're all a part of, you know what I mean? I did do enough drugs to know that this is not real. Okay. This is all God's wildest fucking dream. That's what all of this is. Everybody and everything can do everybody and everything at every moment of every day. It's God's wildest dreams. It's why he made trannies. You know, and fucking Epstein. And like, turkey burgers. <laughs> fucking everything, you know? It's like, hey, babe, man and woman. Now I can make them sweat. Ain't this great? Look at me, wildest dreams. A lot of people get upset at the trance. I say, fuck it, bring them on. Let's have some fun. What else are we going to do in this life? You know, you got to be grateful for it. Never used to be grateful for it. You know, I used to think it was fucking tough to be a human being, you know, because I never saw animals do an affirmation, you know. It's always people. I never saw a lion looking into a river just like, okay, Leo, you're king of the jungle. Okay, you're going to get a gazelle today. You're going to get a gazelle today. You're going to get a puppy gazelle today. You're the king of the goddamn jungle. No, never seen it. But I've seen people like, all right, come on, talk to her, dude. Just talk to her. It's a girl. You can fuck her. Come on, man. Never see a bear with a gratitude list. I've been I'm real thankful for caves and real thankful for honey. No, it's only people that are like, thank God the cops didn't pull me over last night. Uh... Never see a duck-billed platypus looking up at the sky being like, God, why? Oh. <laughs> We're the only species that aren't happy with ourselves, you know? But you're all fucking beautiful. Don't forget that. You're all goddamn gorgeous. See with this guy. Fucking gorgeous. <laughs> all of you. Beautiful specimens. You know? A lot of people are kind of like uh, Daniel LaRusso in The Karate Kid. 
Great movie, but constantly complaining, bitching all the time. They go to their God, and they're just like, what the fuck's going on, dude? I waxed your goddamn cars, I washed your cars, I sanded your floors, I painted the fence, I painted the house. When the fuck am I going to learn karate? Sand the floor. All right. Pum, pum, pum. Holy shit, I've been learning karate this whole time. Now, Daniel, go over there and jack those guys off. It's for karate. It's karate. Okay. When do I learn karate, Mr. Miyagi? Shut up, I haven't come yet. The same as life is beautiful, dude. It's fucking great to be here. Love being sober. So glad to be on this stage, because the green room is nothing but alcohol and drugs. Holy Christ. There's a bottle of Jack Daniels up there right now, just being like a little kid going, Hey, Tim. 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 What? Hi. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. You used to smoke a lot of weed. You used to smoke a fucking shitload a week. You know? I still stand up for it, though. You know? It's kind of weird to quit when it's becoming illegal. Bad timing on my part. <laughs> you know? A lot of people say that marijuana is a gateway drug and it leads to other drugs. I disagree. I think it comes down to you, the individual. Because I'd have to say, looking back on my life, my gateway drug was pussy. You know? Why did I smoke cigarettes? Because I thought girls wanted to fuck a guy that looked like James Dean. <laughs> Why did I drink alcohol? Because I knew women wouldn't bang me sober, you know? I smoked weed because it's hippie chicks I like. I like a girl with hairy armpits and a great taste in music. You know what I mean? It's like it pitch a nipple and you get another great playlist. Oh, look at that. Bro, can unplug? This is awesome. I did cocaine. Because I had a girl tell me if I did it, I'd be able to fuck for hours. So, well, let's go. And I did mushrooms, because after you've done all that shit, you got to kind of figure out who you are and what's going on, you know? <laughs> oh, just be yourself and eventually someone will love you? Thank you, mushrooms. You're welcome, Tim. Holy fuck. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? How do you stay sober? I just pray to God. Pray to God, freaks people out. Dude, I made up my own God. That's step three. Make up a God that you understand. Dude, my God is into Guns N' Roses, Love Things Matthew fan, and a big Raider fan. My God is a big, huge Raiders fan. And people say to me, well, how come they're not winning? <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah. Well, if you want a Super Bowl every year, you want to be grateful for it. So sometimes you got to go through the shit. You got to go through the pain to enjoy the joy. Just like my set for this woman, you know? That's all. You can go out and have fun. It is possible. I know it's Austin, but you can do it. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. I'll pray. You want to pray right now? I'll pray for you. God, will you allow this woman to have a good time with her life? so she can pass her joy on to others while she glances in her joy, and then they get joy and they pass it on to others, and it's a whole big fucking circle. I won't pick on your tip and trap you. Sorry. Just trying to spread joy, you know? And you're fucking making it difficult. <laughs> How do you get through the program? Love thy neighbor. Well, they didn't tell me that my neighbors were cunts. Damn it. It's really hard to love my neighbor when they suck. Uh, you think this is bad? You should have seen me on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful planet we're on. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. You know, a lot of people out there dating, trying to get some of that D, <laughs> trying to fuck the bus. I know a lot of people stay in the dating apps suck. Oh, I can't stay in dating apps. Dating's so hard. That's a premise every comic has. Oh, dating's so hard. Huh. I don't think dating's hard. I think being honest is difficult. That's why all these dating apps suck. We're all just being billboards for who we are. You know? Guys, you ever see this? Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm really into music and traveling. <laughs> so it's everyone, Lisa. Do you have a flaw? 
Have you ever made a mistake in life? You got a story, something that'll give me a boner? <laughs> no, I just come to comedy venues and put on a blazer and sit in the front seat, stare me out. That's what I do. Dude, I got caught up since that guy sober. He was just, <laughs> just yelling at people. You're doing life wrong! Only reason I know is because I did it wrong for 44 years! Yeah, aren't I fun? This kid's loud and obnoxious. Jesus Christ, where is he from, New York? Oh. Here's something I've learned in life. Pass it on, you can Google it. It's a fucking snapple fact. They were not important to you at the time. <laughs> All of you are loved. And I don't mean the word. I mean the acronym. Because hippies ruin the word. Just be like, hey man, love man. Fuck you. <laughs> but I mean the acronym. Light of vibrating energy. It's what we all are. And you can't hate because that's not a word. It's an acronym for hypocritical attitude towards everything. And there's nothing to fear in life. Grab a big book. Go in the program. They'll tell you. It's false evidence appearing real. You're all fucking gorgeous. And you are in for an amazing show, okay? So I'm Tim, I'm the Dr. Jim. I'm gonna go back off to my dreams. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, to watch him work uh, an hour for the first time at a major club here or whatever else. And he's fucking fantastic. So that's why, as he gets up here, you've got to give him a lot of love and a lot of fucking energy. And you're going to enjoy the shit out of him. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Asana Ma to the stage. <laughs>